Jamaica, today's day I leave for college. It's a happy, sad moment because I'm happy that I'm going to college because I've been waiting for this for months. But I'm also a little sad because I'm going to leave my family, which is my mother, my sister and my father, and go boarding, which I've never done before. So that's why I'm a little sad. But I know I have to do this because it's the only way to further my studies. So when I get up this morning, I check my box to make sure that I have everything because I had already packed from last week Sunday. So today I travel to Portland to see the campus that I will be boarding. Delana Tucker, welcome to Portland. You're going to enjoy it here. It's a beautiful parish. Jamaica, I'm finally here at the College of Agricultural Science and Education. When I reached here, I was a bit nervous, but the welcome I received made me feel comfortable because this is what I always wanted, and I look forward to starting my classes in days to come. My name is Monique Oates. I'm a senior lecturer at the College of Agriculture, Science and Education. I came across the Lano Tucker when another student who, is, who was a final year student here forwarded me a YouTube video from Street Driven TV. And in that video, the Lano said clearly that he wants to attend CASE. At the time, and st still am, the, the, one of the chief recruiters for CASE. So I jumped on the story and we made contact with Delano's high school, the Guys Hill High School. So we journeyed from CASE, myself, Mr. Scott, who is another recruiter and senior lecturer here, along with 
a final year student, actually the final year student who forwarded us the video. And we went down to Guy's Hill, got in touch with the principal, went down to Guy's Hill and did the recruitment process on the spot. During that process, quite a number of persons came on board, including our alumni association. They reached out and they said they wanted to help. And um, so Delano is set to get some assistance in terms of mentorship and so on from our alumni association. Other private citizens, Miss Judith McDonald reached out to me. And so we coordinated all his items for case, all the things that he's supposed to get to come in. Those things were coordinated. Of course, his scholarship will be paid for by the Alcan Rio Tinto Scholarship Fund and the Jamaica 4-H Clubs. And so those things have been sorted out already. So we're happy to have Delano here. We're happy to be the college that he chose. And I always tell students whenever I go to recruit, that case is the smart student's choice. Any smart student will choose case because we do agriculture and we do agriculture at its best. Delano is going to be enrolled in the plant science program and he came in today and already he has a team of mentors who are on board with him from today, mentoring him throughout the process. My name is Christopher Onigan. I'm a fourth year plant science student and I'm also the student gate president for the College of Agriculture, Science and Education. Delano made the right choice by coming to our institution. Not only will he become a better young man, but he will also become a well-rounded plant scientist and he will be ready for any job that is out there for him. Here at the College of Agriculture, Science and Education, we believe in helping others so he won't be left behind. And to be honest, this is the best college on earth. He will have no regrets in coming here. The Alcan Rio Tinto Scholarship um, covers his tuition and that's done through the Jamaica 4-H clubs. So his tuition will be covered while he's at case for the four years. Um, there are also other programs that Delano can engage in. He can engage in the work and study program. We have quite a number of students who, when it's summertime, they don't go home or any holiday for that matter, they don't go home. They're on the campus and they work with the campus farm team to ensure the farms are, are kept up and running during the, during the holiday period. Um, when we recruited him earlier on this year, he said for sure that's one of the programs that he will be involved in. I'm sure as well that Delano will be an ambassador for the Guys Hill High School and we, our agriculture team is also going to be working with the principal there. Um, we have an agreement in principle, in principle to work with the agriculture department there. I'm glad I get to see my son going off to college because I did not think it would be possible for I was not financially there. And I am so very thankful for the scholarships that he has received and the donations from both here and abroad. For if it wasn't for the donors, it would not be possible. Thank you all very much and may God continue to bless you so that you can bless someone else. I remember when I came across the Delano Tucker story um, site on Street Driven TV, it was touching. I um, get really emotional about it and the situation, yo, it was unbearable. And so I contacted a friend of mine and another friend overseas said, I help out the situation. So that was the reason why. We even reach um, where we live and so we contact me, the friends of mine and say yo, DJ Banker, phone me, I'm going to contribute a little piece of money to the youth yeah. and 
we have a company which is really different. So we come together and we we'll we'll give a donation, which is a good helping and probably a start. Probably not that much, but we are just happy so we could, have, we, could have, we could have help out a situation which is a youth in need. And I'm glad to see him come this far and get so much help, so many help from the country and you know what I mean, a whole heap of people contribute and the story, yo, Jaja, but something we already, we experience as youth, so we know where other youth have got through, you know what I mean, so we see them things, so we're glad we could have reached out and give a helping hand, you know what I mean? As a father, I'm very proud to see my son going after college. But I know this is something I always want to do, to finish high school and go off to college to further his education. I remember the first time that I saw Delano's was interview. I was heartbroken and I wish I could help him same time. And going down further in the video, I saw that he wanted to come to my college. And I was saying that oh, I, st I have a smile on my face, but I could not help him, as I was still sad. Upon hearing that he got a full scholarship to come here, I was truly happy and excited and I couldn't wait to see him. Although I'm happy, I'm a bit sad because you know, it will be the first night that I'm away from my family. My brother is off to college. I am going to miss him so much because I've known him all my life and we've done a lot of things together, like going for water to the river, then we'd go to school, walk, go to school, and walk, come back from school. Sometimes if, when we understand each other's homework, we will help each other. And we also play indoor and outdoor games. I am going to miss him so much. I'm gonna miss Delano very much because he is my right and in everything. If I'm not feeling well, he will assist me. If I need pill, he will go and get it by the shop or he will make, my, make me some tea. So I'm gonna miss him very, very much. But I am glad and happy that he get to do what he likes. So I'm very happy and very proud of him. I will miss him, but it's a joyful miss to see him after college to further his education. On behalf of the Wheelers Mount Basic School, we'd like to congratulate Delana Tucker on his achievements in his CSEC examinations. This has enabled him to be able to accept the scholarships that were offered to him to go to CASE. As a past student of this noble institution, we'd like to encourage him and others that with hard work and determination, you will reap success. Now that he's in university, um, we just hope for the best. We just want him to continue to hold him up high because it's not easy for a youth in a situation like that to contain nine subjects and to move to a greater step going forward. So we just want to say, Hats off to Delano Tucker. I just wish you all the best in the future. As a resident of the guys in the community, I am indeed proud of Delano Tucker for getting the opportunity to go off to college. It was a well-deserved opportunity for Delano because he did very well in school. I just want to take the time out to tell Delano, try to do his best and above, make use of this opportunity. So congratulations, Delano. We are indeed proud of you. Delano, big up yourself, you make guys feel proud. While others was wasting their time in school, you sit down and buckle down with the books. Now you leave in school with nine subjects and you're off to college. How proud can your mom be right now? No joke, I'm more all youths and youths take a page out of Delano book, you know. Because you don't know, say, education is the key and youths and youths is the future. So try remember that. No job. I would like to thank Jamaica and the entire world for the support they have poured out on my family. We are very grateful that you saw our need and you helped. Thanks very much. <music>